before you even start typing all of my comments. Yes, I know. This is a video about Captain Marvel and I have a picture of Wonder Woman in my background. What can I say? I like being petty. If you like this type of content, go ahead and drop a like on this video and click that subscribe button. Smack that notification bell so you won't miss a new upload. I have yet to check out Nia DaCosta's directional debut, which would be Little Woods starring Lily James and Tessa Thompson. Two actresses I really, really adore, I really like. I actually have rented that movie on Voodoo not too long ago and completely forgot I rented it or just never got around to watching it and I let the freaking rental expire. I hate when I do that. I'm just, I'm wasting money, man. The rental business then got so much money from your boy because I just rent movies and I do not watch them. The main reason I stopped, why, uh, stopped uh, renting from the red box. I went off on a little tangent there, but let's get back to the topic at hand. So we have Nia DaCosta who's stepping in uh, to helm the uh, next installment of Captain Marvel. Now, when I heard the news, I was like, oh shit. But then I started to think, and now I'm like, oh shit. I really do hate to be that guy. I hate to be that person, right? Because this is awesome. You have this uh, black female director directing a superhero film of one of, of like the big two, the biggest two, uh, you know, superhero uh, brands ever. You know what I'm saying? You've, you've got Ava DuVernay over at DC directing New Gods, which damn DC when we gonna hear some news about that I really hope we get something about that film in the upcoming DC fandom and now you have Nia DaCosta over here uh directing uh the new Captain Marvel film like I said when I heard it I was excited because I'm like okay this is cool you know what I'm saying black women getting these big major opportunities like this yes but now I'm thinking about it and I'm like I'm a little reserved i have some reservations and it doesn't have anything to do with nia DaCosta because i'm pretty sure she is a really talented director obviously she is i mean come on uh, she did little woods hollywood was really impressed with that she's got candy man and now she's been giving this what i'm worried about is the way that marvel treats its directors uh, and the sort of, uh, how can I say it, leash that they have on it, on their directors. I mean, I feel like, you know, when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, each movie in some ways uh, are almost the exact same thing. I mean, not exactly the same thing, but almost, right? You have maybe one or two visionary directors in there, like maybe like a James Gunn or maybe like a... Um, you know, like a, um, uh, uh, Watiti, Wakiki, Walili, Swahili. <laughs> uh, Tiger Waititi. Okay, I, I, I got the name, y'all. I got the name. But sometimes you might have a few visionary directors like that, or even Sam Raimi with the new Doctor Strange film. So it's just, I don't know, man. <sighs> I feel like they have, like I said, they have a leash on their directors and I don't think they really allow their directors to really unleash, you know what I'm saying? The way that WB does uh, with its directors when it comes to directing their superhero uh, characters or their, you know, movies or that universe. When it comes to that, uh, you know, in that regards, that's where Marvel and DC kind of differ. Uh, or where Disney and WB kind of differ. And I understand that when it comes to blockbusters, you have to have a particular way that you have to do things because you're trying to hit certain boxes. You're trying to check certain boxes. Uh, and I get that, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what people like. But at the same time, what you end up having, what you end up getting is you end up getting this sort of, you know, uh, manufactured assembly line blockbuster uh, that's that's that really doesn't have a whole lot uh, a whole lot of things that is special about it. And I'm sure Nia DaCosta is very talented and I would hate to see her talents get wasted on a Captain Marvel sequel, especially if it's anything like the first one. God dang. 
The first Captain Marvel was whack as hell. Super whack, man. Did not like that movie. And no, I don't like it because it's got, you know, strong, heavy feminist messages. Because look, Wonder Woman, she's right there, bro. That film has <laughs> strong feminist messages in it, but it was a good movie. Captain Marvel was not a good movie. It was hella heavy handed. Brie Lawson was as wooden as a plank. <laughs> the villains were a letdown. That that entire film just had no creativity. I just felt like it was just soulless. It was a soulless film. And here's hoping that Nia DaCosta can, you know what I'm saying, come through. You know what I'm saying, come through and add some soul to Captain Marvel. Uh, someone pointed this out to me on Twitter that we're getting, uh, I forget the black character. Oh man, it's a, it's a black character. I'm sorry, but I'm not up on my Marvel. I know more about DC than I do Marvel. So please forgive your boy, comic nerds, Marvel nerds. Don't come at your boy, but I mean, feel free to throw your boy a bone. You know what I'm saying? But she's the black superhero, kind of like the black equivalent of Captain Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and there were rumors that the young girl uh, who was Lashana Lynch's daughter in the first movie would like grow up to be this, you know, said hero that I'm, you know, talking about. So that'd be pretty interesting to see. Uh, Nia DaCosta has said in interviews that, you know, she does, you know, I mean, she does, you know, uh, uh, female characters, like female characters is her thing, right? She, she does complicated, uh, female characters, very, um, in-depth female characters, uh, you know, you know, th th her characters have some layers to them. Again, I'm just kind of going off her interviews and what she said, but I have not watched Little Woods yet. I really need to do that. I really, like I said, I've been meaning to watch it. I really need to do that. You should go watch it too. You actually go check it out on Hulu right now. Go do that. But I'm looking forward to seeing what she does with Captain Marvel. Crossing my fingers that it's, like I said, way better than the first one. I really hope Nia DaCosta is able to inject some of herself, her cre creativity into this film uh, because this is what Marvel does. Marvel gets like TV writers and TV directors and small time people uh, because one of the things that's really good about TV writers is that because you have to write for like long drawn out seasons, you really have to focus in on character. And that's what Marvel tries to do, focus in on character. They don't always hit it on the nail. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Anyways, go in the comments and let me know what did you what do you think of this news? Do you think Marvel's gonna have that leash around her? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do you think Marvel's gonna let up on its directors in this new phase, right? Is it are they going to allow their directors to have that creative freedom to really push the boundaries of their characters and their universes? What do you guys think? Is this a waste of her talents or are you excited? I'm excited for her, I'm happy for her, but I do have some reservations. But go in the comments, let your boy no, click that subscribe button thanks for watching hey and the next film you watch i hope it encourages inspires and entertains thanks for watching